Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Upstreams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between Charlotte Hornets and Cleveland Cavaliers. In a captivating face-off this Monday night, the Charlotte Hornets are set to invade Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in what promises to be a riveting clash. Facing off, we have the Hornets, who've been battling through a rough season with a disheartening 17-53 tally up against the Cavaliers, cruising towards the playoffs with a strong 43-28 record. With a formidable 22-14 stance on their home turf, the Cavaliers are geared up to fend off the Hornets, who've hardly made a dent on the road with an 8-29 away record. The Hornets are hitting the court amidst a four-game losing streak, coming off a significant 132-91 drubbing by the Atlanta Hawks. Despite these hurdles, Miles Bridges emerges as a ray of hope, dropping an impressive 21.3 points and snagging 7.5 rebounds on average. Rookie Sensation Brandon Miller is making waves, too, making a significant mark in his first year. Yet, the absence of LaMelo Ball, sidelined with an ankle injury, significantly dials down Charlotte's offensive might and depth. On the flip side, the Cleveland Cavaliers, even without Donovan Mitchell's scoring punch, have kept the competitive spirit alive. This is largely thanks to Darius Garland's slick playmaking and the towering presence of Jarrett Allen and Evan Mobley dominating the paint. Despite a slight hiccup with two straight losses, the latest against the Miami Heat, with a 104-91 scoreline. The Cavs are fiercely eyeing the third seed in the East, keeping the competitive flame alight. Digging into the numbers, the Hornets face challenges on both ends of the court, averaging 106.4 points on a 45.7% shooting efficiency, while allowing 116.9 points on a 49.3% shooting rate. The Cavaliers present a more balanced approach, netting 1 and 13.1 points on 47.8% shooting, while keeping their opponents to 109.3 points on a 45.7% efficiency. With the Cavaliers facing a back-to-back -back game scenario, and considering the Hornets' dismal performance on the road, particularly against Eastern Conference teams, this game unfolds a complex narrative. The Cavs have shown weaknesses when playing as home favorites against Eastern adversaries, often failing to beat the spread in recent games. However, the Hornets' consistent struggles on the road and their pattern of failing to beat the spread in matchups against Central Division teams after a loss highlight a trend of underperformance in key games. Looking at past matchups in Cleveland, the Cavs have capitalized on their home advantage, emphasizing the impact of home court in the NBA. The combination of Garland's playmaking, Allen, and Mobley's inside dominance, paired with the Hornets' defensive lapses and missing a key player like Ball, leans the prediction towards the Cavaliers. Despite the appealing spread and the set over under total points at 205, the Cavaliers' balanced offense and solid defensive play suggest they're in a good position to beat the spread and possibly exceed the total points. With both teams grappling with their challenges, the Cavs' robust home performance and the Hornets' road troubles sketch a clear victory path. In summary, though the Hornets will put up a spirited fight, the Cavaliers, with their quest to secure a playoff spot and a more synchronized team effort, are expected to triumph. The Cavaliers are set to break their losing streak and beat the spread, and considering the offensive dynamics and defensive gaps of both teams, surpassing the total points is within reach. My money's on the Cleveland Cavaliers to clinch the win and beat the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Boston Celtics and Atlanta Hawks. As the Boston Celtics and the Atlanta Hawks prepare for an electrifying showdown at State Farm Arena, anticipation builds for a blockbuster NBA game. The Celtics, with an impressive 57-14 record, hit Atlanta on a high, dominating the season with an offense that's nothing short of spectacular. Averaging 121.2 points per game, their offensive execution is clinical, hitting the mark 48.6% of the time from the field. Their sharpshooting extends to the three-point line, draining shots at a 39.1% rate, and their clutch at the charity stripe, boasting an 80.9% free throw percentage. Defensively, Boston is just as imposing, 
holding teams to 109.4 points per game and forcing nearly 12 turnovers with their disciplined play. This balance of high-octane offense and stingy defense makes them a powerhouse in the league. The Atlanta Hawks, despite a challenging 31-39 record, aren't to be underestimated. Led by DeJunt Murray, their offense shines brightly, averaging 119.2 points on 46.4% shooting. However, their defense has been their Achilles heel, letting in 120.7 points per game, which has stymied their progress. Recent games have seen the Celtics display their depth and versatility, overcoming the Bulls without breaking a sweat. Jason Tatum and the squad's collective effort have kept their winning rhythm alive. On the flip side, the Hawks, buoyed by a significant win against the Hornets, have shown they can step up, with Murray and the team making a statement. Facing off at State Farm Arena adds an extra layer of excitement to this clash. Boston's track record against teams below 500 and their road game strength make them the favorites. Yet, the Hawks' home court tenacity should not be overlooked. Analyzing current form, historical matchups, and game dynamics, the Celtics look set to continue their winning streak, thanks to their efficiency on both ends of the court. However, the Hawks' determination and home advantage position them as tough contenders. With the Celtics favored by 11.5 points, the expectation is a win for Boston. But the Hawks' grit suggests a tight contest, possibly making them the better pick against the spread in what promises to be a high-scoring and captivating game. Betting on the Hawks to beat the 12-point spread seems like a smart move in this Eastern Conference battle. The next prediction for today is for the game between Detroit Pistons and New York Knicks. In the electric atmosphere of New York City's Madison Square Garden, an enthralling Eastern Conference showdown looms. The New York Knicks are gearing up to welcome the Detroit Pistons on a crisp Monday evening. This game is a tale of two teams, the Knicks, currently fourth in the East and hot on the heels of the third spot, boast an impressive record of five wins in their last six games. In contrast, the Pistons are stuck at the bottom of the league, caught in a disheartening losing streak of six games. The Pistons' recent performances have been lackluster, with their offense barely scraping together an average of 99.3 points in their recent matches, a significant dip from their seasonal average of 111.4 points. Despite Cade Cunningham's valiant efforts, leading with an average of 22.1 points and 7.6 assists. The team's defensive struggles and high turnover rate underscore deeper issues. They've been allowing an average of 120.2 points to their opponents, highlighting their defensive challenges. On the flip side, the Knicks are riding a wave of confidence and unity. Their scoring may rank 23rd in the league, but their defense is top-notch, allowing only 107.8 points per game. This defensive fortitude, combined with the league's best rebounding differential, underpins their success. Even without Julius Randle and O.G. Anunobi, players like Dante DiVincenzo have risen to the occasion, demonstrating the team's depth and resilience. Historically, the Knicks have had the upper hand in this matchup, boasting a winning streak of 14 games against the Pistons. But Detroit's knack for covering the spread, especially as underdogs, adds an element of unpredictability to this clash. Despite New York's favoritism, the hefty 16.5-point spread poses a challenge for them, especially given their recent struggles to close out games. While the Knicks are expected to clinch the victory, their defensive edge giving them a significant advantage, the Pistons' tendency to beat the odds suggests they could cover the spread. The generous points cushion might just be enough for Detroit to make a competitive stand. So, While the Knicks are set to win, expect the Pistons to put up a fight against the odds, making it a closely contested battle to cover the 16.5 point spread. My money's on the Pistons to beat the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Brooklyn Nets and Toronto Raptors. Tonight's NBA showdown at the Scotiabank Arena is a classic urban rivalry, with the Brooklyn Nets going head-to-head against the Toronto Raptors. Delving into the basketball lore, This face-off is sculpted by recent performances, past clashes, and crucial stats, promising a captivating battle on the court. Despite a season filled with ups and downs, the Brooklyn Nets are stepping onto the court with a record of 26 wins and 45 losses, struggling to hit a consistent stride. Their latest games haven't shown brightly, highlighted by a disappointing defeat to the Knicks at 105-93. Nevertheless, Their prowess from the three-point line is notable, 
sinking 36.4% of their shots from downtown and keeping a solid free throw average at 75.9%. Yet, their defensive struggles have been a significant setback, with adversaries scoring on 47.1% of their attempts. Cam Thomas, however, has been a beacon of hope for Brooklyn, dropping 19 points in their recent outing and proving himself as a vital piece of their puzzle. The Toronto Raptors, on the other end, have navigated through their own stormy waters, holding a record of 23-48. Their last game saw them narrowly defeated by the Wizards at 112-109, a testament to their defensive hurdles, with their opponents landing 47.8% of their shots. Gary Trent Jr. emerged as a scoring dynamo, amassing 31 points and displaying his scoring talent. The Raptors have found some rhythm offensively, boasting a team shooting average of 47.4%, but their defense has been their Achilles heel, surrendering an average of 118.1 points per match. When it comes to head-to-head matchups in Toronto, the history shows tight competition, yet the Raptors' home advantage has not been a decisive factor against the Nets' drive. Tonight's game predictions are heavily influenced by injury reports, with Toronto missing crucial players like Scotty Barnes, R.J. Barrett, and Emmanuel Quickly, which swings the balance in favor of a more intact Brooklyn team despite the Raptors' battered lineup. A deep dive into the stats, particularly looking at shooting efficiencies and rebounding, gives the Nets a marginal advantage. Their knack for hitting threes could turn the tide, especially facing a Raptors squad that's been inconsistent on both ends. With the Raptors in a tough spot and missing key scorers, the Nets are well positioned to seize a victory away from home. Despite their own hurdles, Brooklyn's three-point shooting and the opportunity to exploit Toronto's weakened state could lead them to not just win, but also beat the spread. Moreover, with a total points line set at 215.5, betting on the over seems enticing. Considering both teams' scoring trends and defensive gaps, a high-scoring game is anticipated as the Nets aim to breach the Raptors' defenses and Toronto tries to match up, even in the absence of key players. In summary, the Brooklyn Nets are set to triumph in this matchup and surpass the six-point spread, leveraging their three-point efficiency and capitalizing on the absence of vital Raptors players. Expect the total points to exceed the set limit, with the Nets clinching the win and surpassing the points threshold. The next prediction for today is for the game between Washington Wizards and Chicago Bulls. In the electric atmosphere of Chicago's United Center, an NBA clash is brewing, pitting the Washington Wizards against the Chicago Bulls. This game comes at a pivotal moment for both squads. The Bulls are charging towards the playoffs, while the Wizards are piecing together their future. The Wizards, fresh off a thrilling win against the Raptors, have been turning heads with their gritty performances. Shooting at an impressive 47.8% from the field and showing pro West from downtown, Washington's ability to light up the scoreboard was on full display. Denny Avdija stood out, showcasing a blend of scoring, distributing, and rebounding, hinting at the Wizards' firepower. Despite these sparks, their season has been marred by defensive struggles and giving up the most points on average in the league, revealing the steep path they have to climb. Meanwhile, the Bulls faced a tough loss to the Celtics, but proved they can hang with the best thanks to a scorching 57.3% shooting performance. Anchored by DeMar DeRozan's scoring brilliance, Chicago's offensive firepower is undeniable. Yet their roller coaster season, with fluctuating offensive and defensive efforts, adds a layer of mystery to their play. Diving deeper into the matchup in Chicago, the Bulls knack for rebounding strongly after home defeats, especially under the spotlight of a night game, suggests they thrive on overcoming challenges. Their record of covering the spread against the Wizards after a loss at home further highlights their adaptability and home court edge. On the flip side, the Wizards have had their moments as surprising victors on the road against Chicago, hinting at their potential for upsets. But their defensive issues and high turnover rate might curb their ambitions against a determined Bulls team. Statistically, the Bulls' superior shooting accuracy and rebounding prowess make them the favorites. Their historical home dominance against Washington only solidifies their position. With all factors considered, expect the Bulls to take command, backed by their efficient scoring and the lively support of the home crowd. The Wizards, while competitive, may falter against Chicago's dynamic offense, especially if key players are absent. Given the 13-point spread, Chicago's history of covering against Washington after home losses 
and their push for a playoff spot, it seems likely the Bulls will not just win, but also cover the spread. With a total points line of 225.5, the potential for a high-scoring game is high, considering the Bulls' offense and the Wizards' defensive lapses. Hence, betting on an over for total points could be wise. Prediction. Bulls to secure the win and cover the spread, with the game's total points surpassing 225.5. This isn't just a win for Chicago, it's a crucial leap towards their playoff dreams, facing a Wizards team that, despite their struggles, flashes signs of a promising future. My bet is on the Chicago Bulls to both win and cover the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Portland Trailblazers and Houston Rockets. In the electric arena of the NBA, where every showdown is a fusion of raw skill, cunning tactics, and unyielding determination, the imminent face-off at Toyota Center between the Portland Trailblazers and the Houston Rockets is shaping up to be a hoops fiesta. The Blazers, currently weathering a tough season with a 1952 scoreboard, are in the thick of a rebuild, their offense struggling to light up with just 107.8 points per game, shadowed by their leaky defense allowing opponents 115.9 points on average. Meanwhile, the Rockets, standing at a solid 35-35, are hitting their stride, boasting an impressive scoring average of 114.3 points per game. Ignited by Jalen Green's dynamic play and Fred Van Vliet's masterful game direction. Their defense, conceding 112.7 points per game, shows a tight ship, particularly in guarding the perimeter restricting rivals to just 34.7% from downtown. Peering into recent form, we see contrasting stories. The Blazers, ensnared in a six-game skid, are battling injuries that have benched key players like Robert Williams III, Malcolm Brogdon, and possibly Jeremy Grant. Their recent tight game against Denver shines a light on their grit and untapped potential, with Anthony Simons and Duop Reith stepping up. On the other end, the Rockets, buoyed by an eight-game win streak, are making waves in the Western standings. Their dominant win over the Jazz, sparked by Green's 41-point explosion, highlights their scoring depth and prowess from beyond the arc, showcasing an impressive display of shooting. In head-to-head -head matchups in Houston, the Rockets' home court and momentum swing heavily in their favor. Their sharpshooting and ability to clamp down on the Blazers' perimeter game could be the decider, especially given Portland's reliance on three-pointers to make up for scoring inside. All signs, from stats to recent form and injury woes, point to a Rockets' advantage. Their well-rounded attack and defensive strength, combined with their current streak, indicate they're primed to surpass the spread against a struggling Blazers team. Houston's command of pace and three-point efficiency should steer them to a decisive win, bolstering their playoff chase. To sum up, this clash's dynamics, from scoring capabilities to defensive skills and current form, lean towards the Houston Rockets. With the Blazers caught in the web of injuries and inconsistency, expect the Rockets to leverage their home court and momentum for a win and to beat the spread. With a total points line set at 221, the game's pace and defensive plays suggest betting on the over, predicting the Rockets to not only win, but also cover the 11.5 point spread in a game that's likely to surpass the point total. The next prediction for today is for the game between Phoenix Suns and San Antonio Spurs. In the latest clash on the hardwood at Frostbank Center, the Phoenix Suns are gearing up to go head-to-head -head with the San Antonio Spurs in a showdown that's guaranteed to have basketball aficionados on the edge of their seats. Fresh off a dominating 131-106 victory over the Spurs, the Suns flaunted their hoop skills, hitting the net with a jaw-dropping 59.6% of their field goals and sinking shots from beyond the arc at an impressive 45.8%. Their recent hot streak, notching victories against the league's elite, showcases their lethal offensive firepower and rock-solid defense. Meanwhile, the Spurs, despite navigating through a tough season, have witnessed moments of brilliance, especially from their standout rookie phenom, Victor Wembanyama, who's been lighting up the stat sheets across the board. The Suns boast a powerhouse offense, averaging 117.3 points per game, with precision shooting from the field at 49.6%, leaving the Spurs 112 points at a 46.2% shooting efficiency in the dust. Phoenix's defense also stands taller, limiting opponents to 114.3 points compared to the Spurs' 119.5, highlighting a more impenetrable defensive squad. This ironclad defense becomes even more critical in back-to-back -back games where stamina is tested, proving the Suns' depth and strategic prowess can withstand the rigors of a tight schedule. 
Historical matchups in this city have often tipped in favor of the home team, but the Suns' recent supremacy, underscored by their latest crushing win, signals a shift in the wind. Injuries and player availability could sway the game's direction. Key players like Devin Booker and Kevin Durant have been instrumental in the Suns' charge, with Booker's scoring ability and Durant's versatile impact fueling their offense. The Spurs, heavily leaning on Wembenyama's standout rookie campaign, are at a juncture needing more than singular heroics to counter the Suns' comprehensive assault. Digging into the team's recent performances and their showings in the current city offers insights. The Suns' superior field goal and three-point percentages, along with their prowess in snagging rebounds on both ends, spell out their advantage. These stats, especially focusing on shooting efficiency and rebounding strength, are crucial in foreseeing the game's direction. Considering this analysis and the Suns' momentum, it seems logical they'll once again eclipse the Spurs. Nonetheless, the Spurs, with the odds in their favor, won't bow out easily. The dynamics of consecutive games and past performances in similar setups hint that the Suns, despite a packed schedule, possess the depth and strategic smarts to maintain their performance and energy levels. The forecast tilts towards the Suns. Prolonging their victory march, backed by stellar stats, strategic depth, and recent encounters. Yet the Spurs, cushioned by a 13-point spread and the home court, might just defy the odds, tapping into their youthful vigor and a resolve to rebound from recent defeats. With a total points line set at 232.5, and considering both teams' scoring prowess, particularly the Suns, an explosive scoring affair is anticipated. Though the scales might tip slightly towards the under, expecting defensive adjustments from both camps. In summary, while the Suns are the pick to triumph, the Spurs, fueled by a drive to showcase their potential, and with a strategic emphasis on leveraging their home turf and young talent, are predicted to bridge the 13-point gap, anticipate a thrilling display of the Suns' scoring power against the Spurs' tenacity and emerging talent, with the Suns likely securing a victory in a tight contest. My bet is on the San Antonio Spurs, to beat the 13-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Memphis Grizzlies and Denver Nuggets. Tonight's showdown in the ball arena is more than just a game. It's a spectacle where the Memphis Grizzlies and Denver Nuggets throw down, each bringing their A-game for hoops aficionados. Fresh off their respective battles, Memphis clouded their way to a win against the Spurs, showcasing sheer determination. While Denver squeaked by the Trail Blazers, proving every second counts. This face-off is not just about contrasting styles. It's a deep dive into form, stats, and the tales of past duels, especially with the altitude factor in Denver. The Grizzlies, despite a rocky season reflected in their 24-47 record, have been the embodiment of hustle and heart. Their recent triumph over the Spurs snapped a losing streak, all thanks to Jaron Jackson Jr.'s explosive 28-point outing and defensive heroics yet with an offensive output, placing them at the league's lower echelons and a defense that's yet to intimidate, their battle is uphill. The Nuggets, sitting pretty with a 50-21 record, are a juggernaut. Their resilience shone through in their last-minute win over the Trailblazers, with the team's depth coming to the fore despite the shadow of injuries over Jokic and Murray. With an offense that's a sight to behold and a defense that stands its ground, their basketball poetry in motion. Stats-wise, Denver's offensive firepower and rebounding dominance, both offensive and defensive, set them apart. Their knack for dictating the game's rhythm and maintaining sharp shooting efficiency, especially on their turf, positions them as favorites. Past encounters in Denver also lean heavily in the Nuggets' favor. With back-to-back -back games and historical data in the mix, Denver's strategic player rotation could be key. Meanwhile, Memphis is tasked with mirroring their recent defensive intensity and offensive flair in enemy territory. In essence, while Memphis has moments of brilliance, Denver's offensive prowess, defensive stability, and home court history against the Grizzlies are hard to ignore. With a balanced attack and smart player management, Denver is set to shine, making them the favorites to clinch the win and likely cover the spread. Their offensive execution and command over the rebounds will dictate this tightly contested bout. Prediction. Lean on Denver to snag the win in a nail-biter, leveraging their home advantage and solid stats. 
but with a steep 14.5 point spread. Memphis's recent form and Denver's star management may allow the Grizzlies to cover in a valiant defeat. Betting on the Denver Nuggets to win, with the Memphis Grizzlies covering the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Dallas Mavericks and Utah Jazz. Tonight's NBA showdown features the Dallas Mavericks storming into the Utah Jazz's fortress at the Delta Center in what promises to be a riveting clash. Fresh off different trajectories, both teams are set to lock horns in a battle that screams classic. The Mavericks are on a roll, boasting a 41-29 record, fresh from schooling the Jazz with a 113-97 masterclass. Meanwhile, the Jazz, at 29-42, are itching to turn the tide after a series of stumbles including a rough tumble against the Rockets. The Mavericks are a force to be reckoned with, dropping an impressive 118.6 points per game on a solid 48.2% shooting efficiency. Luka Doncic is the man of the hour, pulling off an eye-popping 34.1 points and 9.8 assists per game. Teaming up with Kyrie Irving, who's netting 25.3 points a match, they've become an unstoppable duo. Beyond their scoring spree, Dallas is making waves with slick passes and tight defense, aiming to choke the opposition's scoring lifelines. Despite recent hiccups, the Jazz have their own aces. Averaging 116.8 points on 46.9% shooting, they're not far behind. Laurie Markkinen, the team's beacon, with 23 points and 8.3 rebounds, along with Colin Sexton's firepower, signals a squad ready to blast. Their prowess in snagging rebounds, especially on the defensive end, keeps them in the hunt, ready for second-shot salvos. Diving into the history between these two, especially at the Delta Center, hints at a gritty rivalry. However, Dallas seems to have seized the narrative lately, especially with their recent triumph. Such wins not only boost morale, but also lay down a psychological gauntlet for the next round. With the Mavericks in prime health and the Jazz nursing key injuries, the scales are tipped. Dallas's arsenal, led by their scoring virtuosos and defensive schemes, looks set to dominate. Their knack for pilfering balls and converting on turnovers might just leave the Jazz scrambling. Although Utah's home court and rebounding acumen add intrigue, Dallas's balanced attack and defensive stoutness are likely to prevail. Considering the blend of talent, tactics, and recent showdowns, it's safe to bet on the Mavericks not just to win, but to do so convincingly. The combined might of Doncic and Irving, along with a calculated defensive strategy, should steer Dallas past Utah's challenges, marking another notch in their climb up the Western Conference. The next prediction for today is for the game between Philadelphia 76ers and Sacramento Kings. In the electrifying ambiance of the Golden One Center, the Philadelphia 76ers and the Sacramento Kings are gearing up for a showdown that's set to be a highlight reel of NBA action. With the playoffs in their sights, both squads are at a pivotal moment, looking to cement their places in the standings. This isn't just a test of skill, but a chess match of strategy, pitting two teams with unique strengths and gameplay against each other. The 76ers are trying to shake off a recent rough patch, including a hard-fought battle with the Lakers where their offense just couldn't catch fire, hitting only 34.4% of their shots. Even with these struggles, Philadelphia has shown real grit, particularly Tyrese Maxey, who, in Joel Embiid's absence, has been a beacon of scoring and creativity. Their reliance on the three-pointer, 35.5%, and their prowess at the free-throw line, 82.5%, will be key in taking on the Kings' defensive strategies. Meanwhile, the Kings edged out a victory against the Magic, a testament to their scoring capability. With De'Aaron Fox and Domantas Sabonis leading the charge, they found a rhythm, mixing long-range accuracy, 36.5%, with strong rebounding, 43.8 RPG. Their scoring efficiency, boosted by the support of their home crowd, makes them a tough challenge for any team coming into their domain. Diving into their past encounters and recent form in Sacramento, the anticipation for this match escalates. The Kings have a knack for leveraging their home court, merging scoring depth with defensive tactics to outplay their rivals. With the 76ers missing crucial defensive pieces, the Kings' offensive adaptability spearheaded by Sabonis's control in the paint and Fox's quick moves, could expose Philadelphia's weak spots. Additionally, the 76ers' struggles on the road, highlighted by inconsistent shooting and defensive gaps, hint at potential difficulties against Sacramento's dynamic offense. The Kings' ability to keep their shooting sharp, 
especially in critical moments, combined with their rebounding strength, might just overwhelm the 76ers, who have faltered under pressure in away settings. Sacramento's edge in shooting accuracy and rebounding prowess, especially on their turf, tips the scales in their favor. Their consistent scoring and defensive game plans, aimed at neutralizing Philadelphia's shooters, give them a tactical advantage in this clash. While the 76ers have displayed resilience and the capacity to face challenges head-on, the absence of pivotal players like Embiid has a tangible impact on their game plan. The Kings, with a well-rounded attack and home court edge, are in a prime position to capitalize on these deficiencies, especially in the battle in the paint, where Sabonis could be the game-changer. This matchup is shaping up to be a tight contest, with the Kings' comprehensive offense and calculated defense potentially steering them to a victory and covering the spread. Anticipating a high-scoring game, given both teams' offensive strengths and recent scoring patterns, points to an exciting encounter. To wrap up, the Sacramento Kings are the pick to triumph and beat the minus nine-point spread thanks to their deep offensive lineup, strategic play at home, and the 76ers' hurdles in compensating for key absences. The face-off between Maxi and Fox, alongside Sabonis' expected impact, will be pivotal in driving Sacramento toward a significant win as they chase their playoff dreams. My money is on the Sacramento Kings to clinch the win and the spread. The last prediction for today is for the game between Indiana Pacers and Los Angeles Clippers. Tonight's showdown at the Crypto.com Arena, where the Indiana Pacers take on the Los Angeles Clippers, is gearing up to be a basketball blitz. Both squads, coming off recent games and stumbles in L.A., are itching for redemption. Despite the Clippers' previous dominance over the Pacers, they've hit a snag lately, while Indiana's been on the upswing. With the Pacers lighting up the scoreboard against the Warriors and leading the league in assists, they're clearly not to be slept on. The Clippers, with their sharp shooting from the field and beyond the arc, remain fierce contenders. Indiana's offensive onslaught, powered by the electric duo of Pascal Siakam and Tyrese Halliburton, has been turning heads, dropping a cool 122.8 points per game on a sizzling 50.5% shooting. Their mastery from downtown and at the free throw line marks them as an offensive powerhouse. The Clippers, with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George at the helm, are not to be outmoned showcasing their scoring prowess and rebounding strength. This game hints at a neck-and-neck -neck battle, with the Pacers' scoring machine and the Clippers' solid performance at home, adding layers of excitement. Indiana's road warrior status and knack for beating the odds make them a better's dream. The Clippers, hoping for a boost from Russell Westbrook's return, face the Pacers' push for playoff security, tipping the scales slightly toward Indiana. Injuries could be game-changers, and the guard clash between Harden and Halliburton is set to be a highlight, potentially shifting the game's momentum. Despite the Clippers' home court advantage and Westbrook's possible comeback, Indiana's offensive power and recent form suggest they could pull off an upset. With high stakes, Indiana's relentless attack, and the Clippers' determination to rebound, a high-scoring affair seems inevitable. The Pacers' ability to defy the odds coupled with the anticipated offensive showdown, indicates a likely overshoot of the 233.5 total point prediction. In essence, bank on the Indiana Pacers to beat the 6.5 point spread, with the scoreboard expected to hit the over, showcasing the scoring feats of both teams and the explosive nature of their recent face-offs. The Pacers, fueled by their high-scoring offense and playoff ambitions, hold the upper hand in this electrifying clash.